Hey guys, welcome back to Cycle 3 Science Experiments. This week we are on week three and we are transitioning from talking about the eye the first two weeks to now talking about the skin. The skin is the largest organ of our body and is pretty fascinating. Specifically this week we are talking about um, the patterns of skin on our fingers um, that leave behind a fingerprint and how every single person has their own individual fingerprint. Even identical twins don't have the same fingerprint. Um, Psalm 139 is a perfect scripture for this week. It says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, O Lord, and that my soul knows very well. Um, Psalm 139 is a perfect scripture for just reminding us that we are specifically, individually, and marvelously made from our Lord and Creator, even down to our little fingertips. And so, um, so again, we look at our scientific method. Uh, what is our question this week? Well, our question could be, number one, what are fingerprints? Um, or, where do our fingerprints come from? Um, and so get your question and then give the kids a little background research about fingerprints because they're actually very cool. Um, our fingerprints begin developing when we're about three to four months um, in utero. So as babies in our mom's stomachs in the womb, we are not their actual stomachs, but in their bellies in the womb. Um, we, as we're developing our fingerprints, begin forming. They continue forming. Most um, things I read, um, resources say that they continue forming up until that sixth or seventh month before we're born. Um, so in utero, our fingerprints begin to form. Now the size of our blood vessels, the amount of fat in the layers of our skin can all determine, as well as our genes and our genetic makeup, can all determine how our fingerprints end up. There are layers of skin. You've got your epidermis, which is on the outside, mostly dead skin cells. Below that, you have the dermis, which is the thickest part of our skin. And that's where um, blood vessels run through that is where the skin regenerates itself, new skin cells are formed. Um, and then below the dermis, you've got a fatty subcutaneous tissue layer, um, which helps to insulate our body and insulate the skin. So as the dermis is forming in utero, um, most things um, that I read, most scientists believe that that layer of skin forms um, faster or more quickly than the outer layer. That the epidermis or the outer layer is actually very flat and straight. And then the um, layer below that, also known as the basal layer as it's forming and developing, um, grows faster. And so as it's kind of squished under that outer layer, it begins to fold and make ridges and twirls and swirls. Um, and so that under layer begins to kind of fold in on itself and that's what creates the, the little ridges. And then over time, the outer layer also then kind of takes the form of that under layer um, and creates the patterns on our fingers, on our toes. We also have patterns around the palms of our hand and the soles of our feet. Um, and that's where they think that comes from. So our fingerprint is actually dirt and oil um, that kind of fills in those little gaps and that we leave behind on something. That's a print. Um, and that's how police and forensics have used fingerprints to identify people um, because every one of us has one that is individual to us. And we keep that throughout our whole life. Where we start with when we're born is also the same fingerprint we have until the day that we die. Um, so it doesn't change. Even people who have had traumatic injuries to their skin, as the new skin forms, it's like imprinted from below and it creates or forms back out as the same fingerprint. So pretty cool how it starts and then how it stays with us forever. 
So today's experiment, we are looking at our fingerprints and comparing each of our five fingers on our left hand and each of our five fingers on our right hand to see if they're all the same pattern um, or if they have unique patterns. Um, the kids then could also take them home and compare to their family, see if people in their family have the same kind of pattern or if they have a unique pattern. So to do this, our material, so again, our question, rather where are fingerprints, what are fingerprints, or where do they come from? Um, background research is everything I just told you. And then hypothesis, so you could ask them, where, um, what do you think is gonna happen when we look at our fingerprints up close? Um, then each of our kits will have this sheet. I got off of CC Connected, which is just an easy guide. And so it tells you the patterns, most common patterns up here. This is where they'll put their right fingers, their left fingers, um, and then their name up top. And they can, of course, take this home with them. And that would be some fun to then compare with their family. So um, to do this experiment, then every student will need this. They'll need their pencil and um, you'll need tape. So one for each finger. And again, I would have a mom start to just lay out little pieces of tape while you're talking so they're ready for the kids to go. So I'm not going to use one of those because I don't want to waste one. Um, but for the purposes, you're going to have them on the side of their paper, take their pencil and just rub it says 15 to 20 times, so basically you just want a good little pencil mark, you know, on the paper, enough that yeah, they can rub off on their finger. They're going to want to start with one finger. You can have them all do it together. Everybody start with finger number one on your right hand. Raise your right hand. <laughs> Everybody's doing the same thing, and you actually get every different finger checked. So start with um, your pointer finger. You're going to get it nice and dirty. And then they're gonna take a piece of tape and stick the dirty part to the sticky side and just kind of print it on there nicely. So you got it. And you take it off very carefully. Their print is on there. And then they will tape that to the appropriate spot on um, their paper. Now again, I didn't use that pretty paper, but you get the idea. Here is my fingerprint. You can kind of see it. And so that's my pointer finger on my right hand. Um, and then they can compare. I pretty clearly have um, a loop pattern on mine. So they can look at finger number one, see which one they have, and then I would have them make another hypothesis. All right, so before we do your second one, do you think it's gonna be the same or different? Um, and then go to your other hand. Do you think it's gonna have the same or different patterns in that fingerprint as your first hand did? Um, so, and then experiment with that, talk with that. There'll be a couple magnifying glasses if the kids want to share and look closely to really compare and figure out what patterns they have in their fingers. All right, have fun.